Point roll, bull or bear? Let's take a look. Looks like a bear. Good evening. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Got the uh, live port of Miami camera up right now. Most of you that uh, live in South Florida and been down to Miami recognize this area. Miami, Miami is in the background. I forget if Miami Beach is north or south of here. Uh, but again, this is the port area, especially if you've been in a cruise. If you've ever been a cruise down in Miami or that, air, you know, uh, to South Florida and you've been in Miami on a cruise ship, uh, this is where you were more or less here and what a beautiful evening it is out there with all the activity all the cars going by and all the lights uh, and you got the uh, city of Miami in the background with all the high-rises just lovely uh, full tilt season right now too we're like in the January yeah you know what is it the middle of January right now and uh, uh, this is our uh, highest tourist uh, um, you know seasonal count this is when we get the most tourist here in South Florida especially Miami Beach uh, and then you can see that with the traffic. A little quiet right now, though. And, well, anyways, this is not a uh, sightseeing tour of South Florida, but I always like to share our local things down here with you, especially with you local folks and uh, you people that don't live in South Florida. Um, boy, I got a little sidetracked there. Well, it's nothing new for me. <laughs> uh, tonight's quote is, investing is for wealth preservation, not wealth creation. So first you have to make wealth, which is something I've been talking about for the last two or three years is that gold, silver, and platinum are really about wealth preservation. It's not about getting rich quick. It's not about uh, a doubling up and tripling up. And believe me, I believe we will see double ups and triple ups in my lifetime, your lifetime as well. If you're healthy and you plan on living a few more years, uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, uh, much higher prices. Uh, however, I don't, don't like people that get, you know, start dumping a lot of money into gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, uh, with the idea of making a lot of money quick or oh yeah I heard gold's gonna go way up it's gonna go up to two or three thousand I heard silver's gonna go up to 30 40 50 bucks an ounce um, you know so I want to dump all this money in here I don't really like to see that because these are the same people that go and dump all their money into crypto or they go dump their money into the FTX or into the newest thing out there uh, and they ultimately end up not being happy with what they bought you know sometimes those uh, investments just take a shit and sometimes those investments uh, I uh, actually do well. Uh, boy, I just, <laughs> just said a bad word. There goes my uh, uh, video account. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, I don't see gold and silver and platinum. I think if you look at it primarily as uh, a uh, wealth preservation, if you look at, you know, you're preserving the money that you've made already. And how did you make that money? You made it off your real skill, which is your life skills, your ability, whether you're a plumber, whether you're a mechanic, whether you're a, uh, a salesperson, wholesale or retail, uh, whether you're a boat captain on a cruise ship, uh, whatever it may be, uh, that is where you make your money. That's your, uh, 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 that's your wealth creation, is what you do for a living and how you make your money. And really, Creating wealth is about how hard you want to work and uh, uh, what direction you go with that. And there is a certain amount of luck on top of that. But investing really is uh, 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 for wealth preservation. Uh, and I think that's the smartest thing. You, that, again, that's the way you got to look at gold, silver, and platinum is wealth preservation. All right, let me look at the, uh, let me get into uh, today's spot prices, which are down a little bit lower from where they were. I mean, we're hovering in that uh, uh, lower 1900, you know, sub 1910 uh, level, you know, whereas we were up 1920, 1930 for a little bit last week. Um, so gold is kind of like, uh, you know, again, these markets are not organic. These markets are rigged to the nth degree, whether it's the gold market, the silver market, or the platinum market. So these prices are all gifts. I say it over and over and over. And as you know, I get tired of saying it. I feel like a broken record at point uh, at some point, but uh, um, probably a good little dip to buy on as well with silver. Silver's gone below 24. If you saw last night's video, I talked about uh, are, are we going to see $18 silver? And what that video last night was about, uh, I think a f I got a, a few people said that sounds like clickbait to them. Uh, maybe it was to some degree because you got to get people to watch your videos. But you know, last night I was talking about $18 silver. Uh, are we going to see $18 silver again? We, we just don't know. You know, when your markets are rigged, it's easy to get upset and uh, uh, complain and bitch about it uh, when it's down, when it's down. Even though it's a gift and you can buy the stuff really super cheap, it's still like, oh, man, they keep the price down, man. They monkey hammer the price down. Uh, but even when the, 
prices are up, you hear less complaining because everyone's happy because prices are up. But you cannot forget that the prices are up in the same crooked marketplaces that the prices were down in. And this is probably why I get my burnout and my I get tired of talking about how these markets are rigged. I get tired of talking about gold's up today $10, $50, down $25, $50, because it's not organic. It's created by a bunch of douchebag commercial uh, uh, <laughs> uh, banks out there, big, large commercial banks out there that do the rinse and repeat thing. We talked about it last night. Ted Butler explained it very well in a few paragraphs that I shared last night. So I, I do hope you got a chance to watch last night's video. Uh, so these prices are just bargains for me, uh, in my opinion. And the premiums are down substantially. Uh, if there's one thing I know well better than most YouTubers out there uh, and most people that talk about gold, silver, and platinum products, I know the retail and wholesale uh, markets of physical gold, silver, and platinum better than just about any of the guys out there that talk about this stuff. I've um, been doing it a long time. And, uh, you know, i got to tell you one thing. People say, oh, man, you know a lot about gold, silver, and platinum. Um, I do. I mean, I, I've been doing it since I was a kid. I have a lot of, you know, I, I have memorized the uh, actual goal weight in most, you know, all, again, obviously all U.S. coins, most foreign coins, and a lot of other products. So, I mean, it's easy for me. I can look and see if a gold and silver coin is real from actually holding in my hand, just looking at it for the most part. Uh, not even, sometimes even 10 feet away. <laughs> so, or I can see a bad one from 10 feet away. Uh, but uh, I've been doing this a long time, but you know, it's not rocket science. Don't let that, anyone think that, you know, make you think that, you know, some YouTube uh, uh, folks out there and some dealers out there uh, and some retail folks out there uh, uh, give you the impression that, yeah, this is rocket science. It's not. The physical market is pretty easy to figure out. Um, it's buy low, uh, obviously buy low, so high, but uh, when you're buying in the physical markets, whether you're a retailer or a wholesale, the whole point of buying these type of commodities is buying the most recognizable product, and when I say recognizable, recognizable by people in the industry uh, for the least possible premium that you can. Those are the people that make money in the physical markets, people that are buying overpriced products like Silver Eagles and other things. Uh, uh, not so much, but again, I digress here, and I just jumped down a whole different rabbit hole. Uh, great prices to buy it. Buy the dips when you can. You know what I used to say a million times in the last 600 videos? Buy the friggin' dip. <laughs> uh, and uh, premiums are down again. Like I said, premiums are down substantially from where they were. Um, you know, and, and there's some people that have alluded that there's been retail capitulation in silver. Not really. Not much. Not at all. Uh, the only reason that we're seeing... A, uh, a, a reduction in the premiums on silver and gold products and, and a reduction in the buying side and this is true there there hasn't been capitulation by uh, uh, silver buyers okay they haven't been selling their silver what I have seen is that a lot of silver buyers have backed off on buying and I sincerely believe again uh, they're afraid what I, and as I talked about last night $18 silver uh, the premiums have come down a lot because I believe there is a certain amount of seasoned physical buyers out there uh, who believe that, you know, we're at that $24, $25 level right now. They've seen it happen before. Will it get smacked down again? Another 3 and 4 $5. Uh, they've seen it, again, we've seen it happen quite a few times. And if you're a seasoned silver buyer, you've seen it as well. So are you going to jump in the market at 23 24 and 25 bucks? generally speaking? Probably not. You're going to wait and see what direction it's heading for, especially if you have a lot of silver. And that's why I believe that the premiums are down right now, uh, even though the prices are kind of, kind of, you know, kind of holding their own. All right, uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, you know, a good graph. I, I haven't brought up macro trends uh, charts here for quite some time. I was telling you last night, man, they got some great free charts here. Take a look at this. Just type in macro trend gold charts and uh, gold prices, hundred year gold prices versus oil prices versus oil ratio, all that cool stuff. Uh, but one of the ones I wanted to look at tonight is just gold and silver prices because I wanted to, gold has seen uh, 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 multiple all-time highs. Take a look at this, all-time high, all-time high, all-time high, all right? And uh, silver has kind of as well, uh, there's an all-time high for silver, there's an all-time high for silver. And uh, where, where we got silver down here? Uh, not so much. Take a look at this. Silver never hit its all-time high again when gold uh, did. Take a look at that. So gold has hit its all-time high three times. Silver only what? 
Let's take a look at this. Uh, silver once, silver twice, and uh, nope, no three-time high there. So uh, silver has still ha been denied as three-time high, which makes me think that it's way overdue. Uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're going to see it. So wherever gold goes, silver will ultimately follow. So for you silver guys out there that think that silver is never going to go up, gold is definitely going to go up for many reasons, politically, economically. There's a lot of stuff going on out there with the oil uh, uh, between China and uh, Russia uh, uh, backing their central banks with gold, possibly backing their currencies uh, with gold. Uh, and again, what does that have to do with the price of silver? we know historically that silver will eventually follow the price of gold. And here's the other thing we know is that silver has not made uh, uh, its uh, third all-time high, unlike gold. So I believe that silver is like a mainspring that's broken. Uh, once you release that mainspring, bam, it's just going <laughs> to, bam, I sound like the guy, uh, who was that chef that did bam? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, we haven't seen a, a, the third all-time high for uh, silver like we have seen with the price of gold. And this chart shows you that as well. And show recession. Well, I love these charts. These uh, macro trends has macro trends. Macro trends has some really good charts, folks. Uh, I'd recommend taking a look at it. Um, hey, I want to. A friend of mine uh, uh, turned me on to this. This is that new, I think uh, Elon Musk and somebody else has something uh, to do with it. It's called Open AI Discord, where you're actually talking to uh, a, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh man, <laughs> you're talking to a computer, more or less. Uh, you're not talking to a real person here. And it comes across as a real person. And uh, uh, AI, more or less. It's 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 basically AI. But I, I had it. You can see I did a few things up here. Government mind control. And it's not exactly what you think. I kind of typed in the subject. I'd get into that, but it has nothing to do with gold and silver. And of course, you know, I'm a big sci-fi fan as well. Uh, Isaac Asimov. So I, I talked about the three laws of robotics uh, with the artificial intelligence here, uh, just to kind of see what kind of answers I would get. But you know, I said, let me try this. Uh, let me ask uh, this AI program, uh, this new AI program here. And by the way, you can sign up and try it yourself. It's pretty cool. Uh, is gold a good investment? That was my question, all right? It answered back. Again, remember, this is artificial intelligence. Gold can be a good investment as it has a long history of being a store of value and can act as a hedge against inflation and currency fluctuations. However, like any investment it carries, you know, and, and let me move on here blah 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 but remember remember artificial intelligence is nothing more than you know uh, uh, garbage in garbage out and uh, i'm not saying this is garbage what it's saying but it's just the blah 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 canned response that you would expect if you typed in google and uh, uh, looked at a wiki page or something like that okay well anyways hmm. So I moved on to the next question, which I thought was, well, let me give this a shot, see what happens here. Is silver manipulated in the comics markets? And here we go. There have This is artificial intelligence, again, not a person, remember this. There have been allegations that silver market is manipulated, particularly in the comics market. And note, it says allegations, uh, which is one of the largest future exchanges for silver and other precious metals. Some investors and analysts Analysts have claimed that the large financial institutions, okay, here again, some investors and analysts have claimed that the large financial institutions have been able to manipulate the market by controlling a disproportionate amount of the contracts and influencing prices through their trading activities. Pretty much got it right, folks. I mean, it really, really did. The AI got it pretty much right that some investors and analysts have claimed, all right, but there's, here's the key word have claimed, all right? Garbage in, garbage out. Let me kind of, and, and I'm bringing this up for a reason here. I want to keep continuing here. However, it is important to note that allegations, again, allegations claimed, ready? Look at those words, of uh, manipulation in the silver market have not been proven. Another key word, have not been proven. And the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, has conducted several investigations and claims without finding evidence of manipulation. Another important fact to remember here, the reply. Remember what I talked about is AI is only good as the data that they have, and it admits this when it talks to you. Uh, additionally, some experts argue that the price movement in the silver market can be explained by factors such as supply and demand and changes in investment sentiment. It's also worth mentioning that manipulation is illegal, and any manipulative activities will be prosecuted 
by the relevant authorities? Canned answer to some degree, folks. Uh, and it brought up some good points, but re look at the words here. Uh, allegation, never been proven, okay? Now, here's my response here. And remember, I'm talking to an artificial intelligence. I'm talking to a computer, all right? I said to this computer, you are wrong. It has been proven that J.P. Morgan has been fined for it already, as have other traders for manipulating silver markets. This is a matter of public fact and data. How can you not know this? All right? So uh, if you read ahead of me, you can see... Uh, here we go. This is interesting. This is what I find most interesting uh, for AI. Has it learned something here? And again, I haven't, you know, has, is this learning that I'm watching here? It says, uh, the AI, AI says to me, replies to me, I apologize for any confusion. You are correct that JP Morgan and other traders have been fined for manipulation, uh, manipulating precious metals markets, including silver. In 2019, it kind of goes into it, settled CFTC for $36 million. I thought it was 90 something million, but anyways, we'll go with that. Uh, and conduct in silver and gold futures market. Additionally, several other traders have also been fined and charged for similar conduct in the precious metals markets. My previous statement, now, this is cool, folks. Again, artificial intelligence, not many people will even admit they're wrong, uh, but this AI program did. Uh, my previous statement was not accurate, and I apologize for any confusion that it may have caused. Pretty cool, right? As a language model, my knowledge is based on information that was available to me at my last training data, which was 2021. So I comment back, and I, I hope you're, you, you enjoy this, because I had a good time doing this. And again, you can go and question and query this thing yourself. Ready? Uh, but I said, did you know, in fact, that the way manipulation works in the comics markets is that large commercial banks manipulate managed money shorts and longs? If you read Ted Butler, I know I had to bring up my man crush there. Uh, he explains it factually. Have you read Ted Butler writing on the topic? I suggest, I suggest you do and add it to your knowledge base. What do you think of Ted Butler's assessments on the topic? I didn't know what to expect because this AI, again, constantly says that it doesn't have opinions. It can't have opinions that it's basically based on the data that's given it to it by by the people that have programmed it. You know, again, one of the things that my father taught me, he was a uh, engineer at Control Data. I remember him always saying, computers are all about garbage in, garbage out. Uh, I mean, or that's an issue or a problem. Uh, so, so the AI program here, this multi-billion dollar AI program answers me back and says, I apologize for any confusion. As a language model, I do not have personal knowledge or experience, and I rely on the information that was available to me during my training period. I'm not familiar with Ted Butler's specific assessments on the topic of manipulation in the comic silver, bull, comic silver markets, but I can tell you some experts have alleged, again, alleged word, that large commercial banks have been able to manipulate. And here's what's interesting, is that this AI program first alleged is not correct, and then apologizes for being wrong up here earlier, and then apologizes for the confusion. Is it learning? Is it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this machine learning and, and understanding that it, it's apologizing for confusing, it's apologizing for being wrong, uh, and it's starting to explain to me after saying that the markets were alleged uh, 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 that large commercial banks, it's giving us how it's done, which is kind of interesting. So now this AI program is learning how the markets are manipulated, or is it learning? I don't know. Um, uh, but I can tell you some experts have alleged that large commercial banks have been able to manipulate the markets by controlling a disproportionate amount of contracts and influencing th their prices through uh, trading activities. Folks, this is Ted Butler, exactly what he proves and what shows in the COT reports. This is exactly how these markets are rigged. AI gets it. AI actually brings it up now. Ready? However, it is important to note that allegations and manipulations, allegations again, in the silver market have not been proven. And that many experts, there's that proven thing again, even though they have been proven in a court of law. Uh, how AI missed that, I don't know. Um, anyways, got, here we go again. Again, this is me. Again, you got it wrong. Allegations of manipulation have been proven. In fact, you just admitted they had with J.P. Morgan. How come you forgot so quickly? Now, I'm amazed that a computer can answer me answer this uh, question. I'm asking some tough questions here, and I'm, I'm you know throwing some you know so, throwing some you know again some hardballs in there. And listen to what the uh, AI says. I apologize for any confusion. You are correct. You are correct. 
it just admitted that it that it's screwed up, man. It just admitted that it effed up. Uh, the AI did, okay? Now I'm thinking the AI is gonna be super smart or something like that, but it, it tells me I am correct. JP Morgan and other traders have been fined for manipulation of precious metals markets, including silver, and is a matter of public record. My previous statement may be unclear, may have been unclear. As a language uh, model, my knowledge is based on the information that was available to me at the time of the last training, which was 2021. And I'm not able to keep track of new information or events as they happen. I apologize for the confusions in my, and my inaccuracies in my previous response may have caused. Um, it's kind of interesting, too, because this AI program, when it comes to silver manipulation in the comics markets, uh, when I start questioning and querying it, and it does have data prior to 2021. It probably has all the Google data, all the has way more data than you and I are even privy to, I'm sure. All right, uh, but really, just kind of answers the canned stuff that you would get from Bloomberg or Wall Street Journal or some bullshit, which shows you again garbage in, garbage out. Uh, here's maybe I'm asking too much at this point about my man crush Ted Butler, but can you study Ted Butler's explanation on how these markets are manipulated? His data and assertions are everywhere and have existed for over a decade. How come you, uh, how come you were not taught this? All right, uh, interesting comment back by the uh, AI. As a language model, my knowledge is based on the information that was available to me during my training period, which I keep saying is 2020, I believe, or 2021. Uh, while I'm not familiar with Ted Butler's specific explanation on how silver markets are manipulated, I can tell you that my training data is based on publicly available information from a variety of sources, including news articles, well there you go, garbage in, garbage out, research papers, uh, probably garbage in, garbage out when it comes to uh, the crooked crime X markets, and government reports, and you know those are worthless as a piece of toilet paper. Uh, so no wonder this machine is not getting the correct information, but it gets more interesting here. I want to tell you what the machine told me. The machine told me. <laughs> I'm talking to machines now. Uh, it is possible that his explanation for not including the data set that was used to train me. Of course it wasn't. Or that his work was not widely covered by mainstream uh, media. Of course it wasn't. I mean, these are smart answers, man. This uh, AI is pretty damn smart answer. I'm telling you, man. It's like a, you're, you're, you're talking to a very smart person, which would make it less likely to be included in my training data. Um, Again, it tells me too uh, about investment decisions. Uh, that's a canned response, I'm sure. Uh, I say here, his data and assessments have been clearly hidden from you. As it is obvious, you do not know about this factual information and data. Why do you think that is? Why would your programmers not allow you to broach this proven topic? Now, I'm throw, approaching uh, conspiracy land here, but I throw, figured I'd throw that out there. AI answers me back, as a language model, I don't have personal opinions or feelings. My knowledge is based on the information that was available to me during my training period, which is, again, blah, 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 uh, from a variety of sources, but it does start to get into more detail about its uh, sources. Uh, the training data is selected and pre-processed by the team that created me, and the scope of the training data is determined by their goals and resources available to them. It is possible that Ted Butler's work and explanation of manipulation in the silver market was not included in the data set used to train me. Of course we know that. Where it was not widely covered by mainstream media. Of course we know that as well. And again, it's repeating itself there. Uh, it talks about uh, research and analysis. Again, another uh, can response. Uh, and here's my response back to this AI program. And again, I'm just fucking, um, excuse me, <laughs> excuse my language. I'm just knocking uh, uh, hard balls out here, out in the park and see what happens. Uh, I ask the AI, the truth was not given to you, uh, or, or that's not really asking, that's a statement. Uh, your, programs gave you, your programmers gave you a lie and omitted important facts that prove manipulation in the comic silver markets. Your response is proof. You even admitted that JP Morgan cheated silver markets, yet you continue to deny manipulation has been proven. When it has, and you acknowledge it, how do you acknowledge it was factually manipulated then make claim no evidence of manipulation has been found? Your answer's in conflict with itself. Why? Now, that's a complex question right there, and maybe I didn't even phrase it right, but this damn thing got it, you know, understood what I was saying. It says, I apologize if my previous statements were clear. You are correct that J.P. Morgan's and other trades have been fined for manipulation in the previous metals. Markets, including silver, and as a matter of public record. My previous statement may have been unclear. As a language model, my model, again, blah, 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 based on me at my last training, which was 2021. Uh, it is possible my previous uh, responses were not able to convey the complexity of this topic and the nuances of the information available. So that's a very smart reply. It is important to note 
uh, that my function is providing information based on my training and the available to me. Uh, again, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I ask it again, so you admit and confirm the silver markets have been manipulated and rigged by large commercial banks. Ah, again, as the language model confirmed, there been I can confirm there have been allegations and fines for manipulation of the precious metal markets, including silver by, uh, boy, this gets long, I'm sorry about this, but I found this so interesting. Uh, by large commercial banks and traders. It's been acknowledged by relevant authorities as a matter of public record. So more or less, it's, it's, it, the AI here is, is kind of in conflict with itself a little bit. Cognitive dissonance, I don't know if a computer can suffer that, but uh, uh, a little conflict with itself where it's saying uh, allegations, allegations haven't been proven. And then it comes up with the answer that, yeah, it's happened, it's happened, it's happened. It confirms it, it apologizes for being wrong with me, but still, continues to say uh, allegations and not proven. Uh, this has been acknowledged by relevant authorities in the matter of public records. So it, it's admitting that it has happened and it, it is manipulated. It is important to note that manipulation is legal and any manipula manipulative activity would be prosecuted by the relevant authorities. Uh, it's important to note that my knowledge is based on information, again, going into the blah, blah, blah stuff that, you know, that it says all the time. Uh, so I ask it again, if you acknowledge this fact, then why did you repeat continuously and still do that no manipulation has been found in the comic silver markets? Question mark. Is this a conflict in your data or manipulation by your data sources? Mm. Again, apologizes for confusion and inaccuracies. And inaccuracies uh, again, which I, I admire that. Here's a computer apologizing for being wrong. How many humans even do that? Most people double down on their stupid and just defend their uh, wrong answer, but uh, I digress. Uh, I gotta admit, I got respect for this AI as a language model, blah, blah, blah. My previous statements that there was no evidence of manipulation on the comics, silver markets were based, this is important, were based on the information available to me during my training, which is done until 2021. This information not been updated to reflect the fines and penalties that have been imposed on traders and banks for manipulation of the precious. It's admitting right now. So this AI program is admitting that there are fines and penalties. They're admitting it. And manipulation happens, all right? Uh, again, uh, the, it just goes into blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're, not, we're close to the end here, folks, so bear with me. Uh, so I say to the uh, AI, I say, that's not true. Most of the manipulation was proven as a matter of public record prior to 2021 training. Why would your trainers lie to say no manipulation is proven when it has? And that data has been available publicly and all over the inter internet prior to your training even. Uh, again, it, it apologizes for its inaccuracies and its responses. Um, it says that it was only had certain uh, 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 data available to during its training period as possible some information uh, as uh, the comic silver market was widely known reported before my training, blah, blah, blah. Again, just saying that it, it only kind of had what it had up to 2021, but I found that strange because it had availability to data and information that uh, proved that uh, uh, manipulation was happening. And the machine knows it because it's digging it up itself. It's finding these finds and stuff like this. So it, it confuses me that on one hand it says alleges not proven, and on the other hand it gives you all the data uh, why it is true. Um, Oh, so, so do you now acknowledge, this is my question, based on your own confirmations that the comic silver markets have been rigged? And will this knowledge be relayed to other users when asked? Now, this is an important question that I ask right here because I was wondering if this machine actually does learn. Um, and it says, as a language model, I confirm that there have been, I can confirm that there have been allegations, fines, and penalties imposed on traders and banks for manipulation in the precious metals markets, including silver, based on the information available to me during my training period. Uh, again, before, it, 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 there's some confusion going on with this poor AI program, but uh, I'm really digging the answers here. I'm really liking this stuff. I'm really thinking that... Uh, <laughs> uh, AI could be a real uh, truth revealer in so many different ways and to help people out there, except if it's fed garbage. Again, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, it, it, again, it talks about here in my knowledge base, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here I say you keep saying allegations, they've been proven in a court of law. You know, I'm saying they have been proven in a court of law. They admit a guilt is not an allegation. It is a fact. Why do you continue to call it an allegation? Again, I've been completely impressed with this machine's ability to keep up with this conversation within a, you know, again, it didn't take that long for it to answer, sometimes up to a couple minutes, but uh, the answers were pretty quick and uh, 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 I'm impressed. Uh, it says, I apologize for confusion again. You are correct that manipulation is uh, in the precious metals markets, including silver, has been proven in court of law. 
Uh, some traders have been ill, again, kind of admitting what it admitted before. Um, and here we go. As a language model, my knowledge is based on information that was available to me during my training period. My previous use of the word, uh, this is interesting, my previous use of the word allegation may have been referenced to the fact that these cases went through legal proceedings where the parties involved had the opportunity to present evidence and argue their case. However, you are correct that manipulation of the precious metals, you are correct that manipulation of the precious metals markets, including silver, is a proven fact. And that traders and banks have been held responsible through legal penalties. All right. It is important to conduct, okay, again, your research. Uh, and again, I ask it here, were you programmed to downplay the allegations? And it says here, I don't have opinions and feelings. My previous use of word of allegations may have been due to the fact that it was the way this information was presented and the data set used for me. Important fact here, uh, again, the data when it comes to manipulation is, is constantly telling the AI that it's allegations, allegations, allegations. This is exactly what I've been talking about, garbage in, garbage out. And if the AI is getting garbage about this, so is 99% of the public out there. Again, garbage in, garbage out. Manipulation definitely happens. This machine, this AI, this machine that's probably smarter than most of us as far as being able to assess information and data very quickly uh, admits it fully that the gold and silver markets, silver markets are indeed manipulated. Uh, it is possible that data set used to me, blah, blah, blah. Again, then again, here I said, now that you know the facts, if someone else asks you about manipulation, again, I'm just throwing shit out there. Uh, will you downplay it or call them allegations again? Or will you state that silver markets have been proven manipulated by large commercial banks in the comics markets, as you admit? Are you able to learn from your mistakes and correct them? All right. Pretty intense question. Again, talking to a computer, not a person. Um, it talks about, you know, again, available to me in my training period, patterns and data. I don't have personal opinions or feelings, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, but I, I'm not able to learn from mistakes or correct them as I don't have the ability to retain new information or experience. So I found that interesting. That being said, I mean, again, I'm, it's kind of con con contradicts itself. It says I'm not able to learn from mistakes or correct them as I don't have the ability to retain new information or experience. Uh, but it says here, that being said, now that I've been made aware of the proven manipulation, and it, this is the AI saying that I have now been made aware of proven manipulation in the comic silver markets by large commercial banks. I will provide that information if someone asks about it in the future. However, it is important to note that my knowledge based on information was available to me at my time I trained, blah, 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 blah. But I found this really fascinating that this AI computer said that now that I brought this up to it, now that I, I have made this AI program aware, again, it's a multi-billion dollar program here, uh, I'm sure it is, uh, made aware of the proven manipulation in the comics markets by large commercial banks. It's saying that it will provide that information if someone's asked. Now, I figure the computer is either telling me the truth or lying. I trust that it's telling me the truth because I'm not sure that these things know how to lie yet. They know how to, uh, again, garbage in, garbage out, put out garbage, they've been told. But I find it interesting that this AI program uh, that... Uh, 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 was calling everything I was saying allegations and not proven. Now it admits it's happening and is willing to share that data with people that ask. Uh, can you review, again, my man crush, the writings of Ted Butler and silver manipulation? Uh, uh, and, and this, again, I, I asked the computer to read Ted Butler and, and look into stuff, and I'm sure it went and read whatever it could find on Google and way faster than you and I could ever do it and kind of got an idea of what Ted Butler is. Uh, and it tells you right here, uh, well-known precious metal analyst who has written extensively on the topic of silver manipulation has been a vocal critic of comics market and large commercial banks for many years. He has argued that these institutions have been able to manipulate the prices by controlling a disproportionate amount of contracts and influencing prices through their trading activities. He also pointed out the role of CFTC and the regulators in not preventing that manipulation. Um, However, it is important to note that his work and now should be taken as one of the many perspectives on the topic. It's important to conduct thorough research, blah, blah, blah. Um, and again, folks, it just kind of goes in to confirm what a great, uh, I know that was long. I didn't mean to bore you with that, and I don't mean to make you sick and motion sickness by uh, uh, scrolling up that fast, but what really, really cool, uh, this is called Open AI. Type, type in Open AI, chat Open AI. 
uh, and open up an account. Ask it about silver manipulation. Let me know what you think. But it's free to use. It's really cool. And most, of, you know, if any of you think uh, that I'm talking about weird stuff, mind control. Really, I was just curious about uh, peaceful protest, demonstration, civil. It was a good conversation. My gosh. Um, I had some great conversation, gold is an investment, mind control, three laws of robotic news. These conversations I had with this AI were intelligent, to the point, willing to admit it's wrong on top of it. <laughs> Almost more enjoyable than talking with real people, folks. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, how? I mean, it's wonderful at talking to something that admits it's wrong, is extremely intelligent, has huge amounts of data and information to available to it. Um, and uh, I, the technology, I think, is just potentially wonderful. On the other side, it has the potential to be pretty damn awful, too, because garbage in, garbage out. If you program an AI full of lies, what are you going to get out? You know, garbage in, lies in, lies out. Uh, but anyway, thought this was really cool. Wanted to share it with you. Uh, meanwhile, am I going to talk about premiums tonight? Hell no. Premiums are the same as they were. Silver Eagles are still way overpriced. Uh, 100 ounce kilos and 1 ounce and 10 ounce bars. Generic bars are still the best deal out there at spot plus 3 bucks or less. Somewhere in that range. Uh, and uh, gold, same thing. Gold bars are the best deal out there. 1 ounce gold bars. Um, Gold Eagles are a spot plus 112 bucks. Not a bad deal at 112. Got to admit, I was rough on Gold Eagles at 150 over spot, 200, 225, and rightfully so. But at 112 bucks over, I'm softening up on the old lady right here, um, uh, because a bar is uh, you could buy a bar plus an ounce of silver and get change back for the same price you could get an eagle. But boy. Uh, Eagle prices have dropped dramatically, and I explained to you why earlier, why premiums have dropped. I think a lot of physical buyers have kind of dropped out a little bit. Um, wow, last night's video almost got, look, 899,000 uh, <laughs> subscribers. I'm almost at like 9,000, you know, almost hitting that 10,000 elusive mark where Google, uh, they don't send you anything. They don't care. <laughs> 10,000 is nothing. Uh, but anyways... Uh, uh, pretty funny. Uh, what a, a lot of comments last night. Rat Patrol, Mike Tooney. <laughs> He's talking about Rat Patrol. I, man, I just went off on all kinds of tangents, didn't I? Talking about Rat Patrol. Holy crap. Uh, let me close your eyes if you get uh, motion sickness. I'm going to try to get through some questions here. A lot more comments tonight. Got to apologize if I don't hit every one of you. Uh, thanks, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate uh, you watching, commenting, and uh, hitting that like and subscribe button. Uh, Linda says, uh, burnout. Yeah, man, we all suffer burnout. This is my 600 and something video, man. So, and I've been pretty damn consistent with them except for the last two or three months. I always try to do them five days a week, uh, but the last couple months have been really tough uh, for reasons that you guys know. Uh, Richard says, um, I smile when you show up, Pastor. You reminds me of your videos and cuss. <laughs> he likes my cussing. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate that. Colleen, what's up? Uh, Psycho, you can't argue with that as well. Um, here, let me, I want to acknowledge everyone here. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, answer every question here. Uh, thank you, Christopher Ward. I really appreciate that. Of course, you know, when I say that, I, I still end up trying to answer everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, zero, uh, uh, oil went to zero. Uh, propping up dollar inflation, absolutely true. American Patriot. Uh, so when do you predict that we will have four or $5,000 gold, $40, $50 silver? My guess is by 2025, 2030, I think you're conservative, but then again, you know, I'm uh, impatient. So <laughs> I'm impatient. You're conservative. Uh, yeah, I can't argue with that for sure by then, but probably sooner in my opinion. Um, I do. What about have gun will travel? What a great old Western that was. Thanks, you, Richard. Appreciate you commenting. American Patriot. Uh, I agree with you about pre-1933 uh, gold, but only gold coins. Other countries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pre-33 U.S. gold is overpriced in my opinion. I love this stuff. Don't get me wrong. If you're a collector, it's great, but investing in it, no. And people that talk about confiscation and why you should buy pre-1933 gold are just trying to rob you of more commission money. Uh, Hermosa Beach Guy says, Rat Patrol. <laughs> I watched them all, too, on a black and white, like a uh, little portable TV that I had in my bedroom that when my parents would go to sleep, I'd turn it on and watch, watch those things. Yeah, yeah, giving up secrets here. Uh, inter uh, that's why you're interested in the infantry. Uh, Hermosa Beach, I didn't know you were a, a soldier. And by the way, my hat's off to you, and uh, thank you for your service. 
And uh, Zeke the Great, I believe the key to the silver manipulation is 251 a pay. Yeah, I do not believe silver run free until that ratio is fixed. Might not argue with that. Oh, gosh. Not, look, 29 replies. Jack Daniels is going to say, Mrs. Marie made me $6 million in the crypto market. All right, let's just hide this use from channel. And uh, Celtic Knot, what's up, dude? I miss you at the fun show. Uh, hope everything's well. And uh, Christopher... Um, thumb me up for, oh, I didn't do thumbs up for everybody tonight. All right, forgive me tonight, Christopher. But uh, last night I did thumbs up for everybody. Great show. Wish you were closer, but a couple thousand miles is too far. Not going to argue with that. That is a long drive, Christopher. Uh, Paul Marino, what's up, dude? Uh, prices might get a little bit cheaper. You might have a chance to buy even a bigger dip. And uh, <laughs> uh, Celeste, thank you for being a, a longtime viewer and a longtime commenter. I really appreciate that. Uh, um, Golden Pole says, thank you for sharing. Well, I got to appreciate all you guys for commenting here. And uh, again, CR, Jim Jones, T. Lee, what's up? Uh, Dash Scriber, probably never. Rowan Maddox, buy silver, absolutely buy some more silver there. DC, the anxious stacker. I really hope for crashing prices so I can get much more gold and silver as I can. Unfortunately, I'm on the hold for about a month or so since I ordered a safe a few days ago. Good for you, dude. Uh, if we have big enough dip, I'll break into my emergency saving, but otherwise I'll be sitting back watching prices. Definitely sucks having a limited income making it, so I, I can't make as many orders as I'd like. But consistency, and you're right, sir, consistency is very important. And remember, it's about wealth preservations, uh, wealth preservation. Uh, other guys are calling for three to 4000 gold. One even said 25000 gold. <laughs> Uh, if it's $25,000 gold, trust me, anytime in the near future, that means a loaf of bread is going to be 150 bucks. Probably not a good thing. Uh, but yeah, I can see three and four thousand dollar gold. I can see it definitely. You know, uh, gold has already made again broken its highs three times already. It'll do it the fourth time. Uh, the real question is: is when does silver just when does the mainspring of silver just bust and unwind? Uh, let's find out. We'll all find out together. Donnie Lewis, buy all you can. Thanks for uh, watching and commenting. Paul Wilson, what's up? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, our currency is supposed to be backed by gold and silver. Absolutely. They have been in breach of the Constitution for a long time. Tree Climber, uh, it is all by design. Joe McDonald, how you doing? Tell your wife I said hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's true. Always right. Interesting. Thank you, Kane Friday. Uh, CR Chief says, anytime gold and silver brought up in normally really like trash precious metals, yeah, the mainstream does, but you know, you know, once a few percent of the general public gets into gold and silver, man, we're off to the moon. You know, f what I mean, physical gold and silver, and, and, and gold and silver in general, what what is maybe one percent of the people in America own it at best? I don't even know. I bet you it's probably even less than that. Uh, thanks for watching, commenting, CR Chief. Uh, know it, know it all. Says I recently moved to my and I'm seriously considering moving another 40k. Should I just transfer my 250k? Oh, man, dude, I'm not the guy to ask about that. Uh, fiat currencies do suck. But remember, as I said, gold, silver, and platinum to me are about wealth preservation, not so much an investment. I mean, if you're comfortable with doing that, uh, fine. But uh, I've said it many times. I really believe in diversification. I could be wrong. Maybe you should put all your money gold, silver, and platinum. But I believe in being diversified and smartly diversified. Um, and gold, and silver, and platinum are part of that uh, diversified uh, wealth preservation. You know, some people may say land is another one, and good solid stocks, whatever those might be, is another one. Um, thanks for watching Know It All. I appreciate it. Philip Stanton says, find any good treasure cleaning out your old man's shop. <sighs> memories, dude. Yeah, you know, when you clean out your parents' stuff, uh, yeah, some really cool memories, um, you know, and uh, reminders of him all the time. That's the thing. You know, uh, treasures, and the memories are the biggest treasure. The, uh, you know, I could find... Uh, gold coin, a box of gold coins, and it wouldn't be as big a treasure as the memories that I'm having cleaning out his stuff. Uh, and it's hard to let go of some of it uh, as well, let go of stuff as well. Uh, thanks for asking, Philip. The Fed is trying to crash and win in the level of the field. Yeah, no argument there. Uh, Joseph Kramer, oh, thank you for defining that. Um, Post World has one of the most peaceful times in history. Um, from recency bias, post, I'm not quite sure what you're saying there. I'm saying that. Uh, 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 peacetime, uh, you know, wartime, war is bad. There's nothing good about war. And, uh, oh, here we go. Wars are necessary for people being invaded. The blanket service is not good for anyone. It's dumb. War does. I, you know what? I can't agree with that. War doesn't help anyone except the uh, uh, governments, politicians, industrial, uh, uh, military industrial complex. It doesn't help anyone but them. I mean, you know, when, when, when 
when working class people uh, come home in body bags and the poor come home in body bags and there's people profiting from that, there's nothing good about that, Joseph Kramer. I couldn't disagree with you more on that, but I really appreciate your opinion even though I disagree. Uh, so let's agree to disagree on that subject. Uh, Thomas Crompton says, I'll ask again, i sorry, Thomas, and I'm sorry I missed the first one. Uh, what benefit do you see stackers if we go to CBD? Uh, what benefit do you see for stack if we go to CBDC? Um, I just don't think we are, Thomas. I, I think we're not going to go to a, a digital currency here. I don't think it'll be popular. They're having a hard time rolling it out in China. Um, you know, uh, uh, maybe if it was backed by gold and you could take your CBDC and go to the bank and cash in for a couple grams of gold or something like that, I could see it. But digital fiat, CB, CDBCs, no. Uh, I just can't see it. Americans are too independent. Maybe I'm overestimating Americans, but uh, I used to believe we were too independent to do that. Uh, thanks, Thomas. Uh, appreciate your comments. Good to see you commenting. Sorry, I missed your first question. I've uh, been saying since 1850, just fiat. I haven't bought since then. Got a lot saved. Uh, premiums won't be brutal. Actually, saved all year. Keep saving, Jay. Uh, again, it's about wealth preservation. If you view it with that in mind, you will never regret buying gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, Rat Patrol <laughs> uh, wasn't on long enough, though. Yeah, I remember. I watched them all, like I said, on that little black and white uh, TV set. Thanks for commenting, Mike. Nice to see you. Uh, it looks like you're a new commenter and viewer as well. Well, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'd like to uh, uh, give a kudos and a shout out to all the people at Wall Street Silver. What a great group they are. If you're not involved with Wall Street Silver and you buy silver, you should be. Enthusiastic, cool group, uh, and it costs nothing to join it. Also, don't forget which I have for about a month now, that I'm on Twitter. <laughs> I haven't looked at the Twitter account in a month, but I am on Twitter. You can reach me at briankuzmar.com. Eventually, I will answer. Perhaps I'll just start uh, putting some more stuff out there as well. And just in case anything happens to me, you know you know how it goes. You can find me here as well, even though I'm not logged into my account. Uh, my account is the same name as the company name and the same name as our YouTube channel here. There it is right there. And uh, that's it, folks. If you're looking to buy gold, silver, and platinum, any type of precious metals, and you live in South Florida, come visit our store here in Commercial Rare Coins in Lauderdale by the Sea. We're open 10 to 4, Mondays through Friday, same location since 1995. I am a second generation dealer in this stuff, uh, retail and wholesale physical products since 1977. I advertise to be at Max, SD, JM Bullion, and the local guys down here in South Florida, all the great people that they are. And again, if you want to be competitive, who do you want to be competitive against? The best. And I am competitive against the best out there so uh, and I say that with confidence uh, so if you're looking for precious metals anywhere from a dollar's worth to millions of dollars worth uh, come in our store or give me a call and uh, we can help you out and uh, meanwhile don't forget I'll be at the uh, Lakeland Civic RP funding center for the Collectorama coin show coin paper money jewelry collectibles and precious metals and all kinds of cool stuff uh, get your free tickets here at the uh, Collectorama show.com website and uh, it's really cool show uh, it's in the center of Florida, so it's really four-hour drive from me, hour drive from Tampa, hour drive from Orlando, couple-hour drive from Jacksonville, and a really cool show it is. Hey, listen, folks, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching, uh, listening to me mostly because there's not much to watch here, <laughs> and uh, uh, putting up with me uh, for all these uh, last two or three years. And uh, I hope everything's going well for you. And uh, that's it, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.